my friends. A while back, Heather Mater posted in her Facebook group, Inspired Art with Heather Mater, a charming little whimsical watercolor she had done, and somehow she had superimposed on there a bright red cardinal kind of photo bombing the painting. And it was really fun. So I commented that if she wanted to send me the painting, I would paint the bird on there for her. And she agreed, and so she sent me the painting. Now I had two options. I could paint directly on her work, which is kind of nerve wracking, um, painting on someone else's artwork. So I opted instead to do a color pencil painting and then adhere it to her painting. And I did, and here it is. And I'm going to be giving a little demonstration on some color pencil techniques and talk about paper, pencils, and some uh, an amazing new to me product. Just give you a quick demo of um, a bit of how I achieved this feathery look on this cardinal. But first, I want to mention that this painting will be available for purchase in Heather's next auction on the Art Healing Hearts auction, one day only, February 16th, from 12 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, if you want to be um, notified when it's available, you the easiest thing to do would be to join the auction group, the Facebook group. And I will put a link down below to the group and you can simply join and then scroll through all the beautiful work of Heather's and just say you want to be uh, tagged when her pieces are um, live. So um, I'm excited about the collaboration, excited for Heather. She does beautiful work and um, I wish her all the best in the auction. So again, information will be down below in the description box. And now let's get to the demo. The Da Vinci uh, wood panels, however, they were, they've were they been fantastic every time. This is a 4x8 awesome. gel medium. I like to use this one. It's my favorite. And you need a brush. I like to use a large, flat uh, brush like this. You need some water. Um, so let's make sure that the panel is about the right size. Yeah, it's perfectly cut. So again, take our gloss gel medium and on our brush and then I'm just gonna real quickly go like this this down a little bit to secure it and then you just look at it and make sure hey are all the edges pretty much lined up for the most part and oops this is very slick let me get the towel here to scoop up any of the excess as for you're probably like why do you waste this I've just found it's just easier when you just put a little tiny bit extra and press it out the sides like this. It adds, it's almost like a vacuum. <laughs> and that vacuum it creates between the gel medium and then it just holds it down and then you don't have any weird ripples or lumps or anything like that. So um, I'm sure there's other adhesives or glue that you could use. I don't know why I started using this, probably because it's the only thing I had at the time or something, but man, it's just been wonderful, and I really have liked using it, and I just keep using it. I even bought more for this purpose. If you have something else, I'm sure it's a similar method. The main thing is 
to make sure that it's all secured. You can see I'm just slightly moving it and adjusting it as I go here. And just squeezing out any of that extra. And then at the very last, I'll get, I'll go back and forth here and make sure it's all smooth. Does it feel smooth under my fingertips? Um, is it all secured all the way around? Is there any gaps or bubbles? And if it's no, like this corner is just up a little bit. I don't like that. I don't like the way that looks. So I'm going to just take a little bit of this. Now this works. This dries fast, like I said. So I don't think we want to mess around too much. It might just seal if I just turn it over. But it, it does suck if it doesn't seal right away. Then you have to go back and do it again. So I'd rather just put a little extra on there. See that little extra just makes all the difference for some reason, I don't know why. And now I have like a clean little seal right here. Okay, that's it. So now I'm going to turn this over and put something heavy on it. I could put a jar, well don't put a jar of water. That looks like, it, that was looked like it was gonna be a bad idea. But if you have a candle or whatever it is that you want to put on there, you can. Don't forget to visit Christine's channel for the bird tutorial. And also all of these pretty pieces. These are my new pieces coming up in the Art Healing Hearts auction. That's a group on Facebook. The link is in the description box to join. And that's how you could be a part of the auction. Look at all the bees bees and flowers. That's what I've been doing. Bees and flowers with all these impressionistic um, acrylics with the beautiful brush strokes. Yep. I love this collection. Really excited to bring it to you. Um, this show is one day only, Friday, February 16th, a couple days after Valentine's Day from 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks so much to Christine and to all of you. I hope you have a blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.